Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another anime related video. If you're new here to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So, what is Satan series needs to get me hooked? So, if you watch the other part of this, which the shonen part, then you know I'm going to repeat some of the same things, right? But I'm using Gantz as an example. Gantz is one of my favorite Satan manga of all time. When it ended, well, when I bench read it and I finished it, I was like, I need more. I need more. There's a lot of adaptations of Gantz, by the way. So maybe one of these days I'll watch all the adaptations. But as of right now, no. So Seinen, the stories tend to be darker, which doesn't mean darker is better. But a, the, um, Gantz does it well, where it's a dark story. But it's not, I'm not going to say not too dark because it is dark. It's a dark story, but it doesn't go over the top. There's a line. There is a line that if you cross it, it's over the top dark, right? But Gantz is like almost reaching that line. But it's still very captivating. The characters are interesting. The survival aspect is great. Like in, insane, in some insane stories, like survival aspect, the, like you're like, oh man, is this character going to die? Like the anticipation, I definitely look forward to that. The gory battles, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of gore, but when the battles are insane and a character like gets sliced off or something, I'm like, whoa, that, that is crazy. Uh, the art style as well. And also like how the plot proceeds and insane and serious, like those are all the things that I really do enjoy. Now, if you don't mind darker stories, gore and all that stuff, I definitely recommend Gans because it's just really good. It's a very good series. There's a lot of great Satan series. People stay away from Satan series a lot of people just because there is fights, but it's like the 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 story is darker and stuff. And another thing is that a lot of the time the Seinen series they're targeted more to an older audience which is a good thing for myself because I am the older audience and then the story elements are not like you could understand it um better uh, not better like the story elements are more mature which I do like and Goodnight Pun Pun is also a Seinen I consider it a Seinen but it's not like very well <laughs> I'm not gonna. It gets dark, but not very dark like Gans. But it's like a slice of light seinen, seinen, and yeah, I do really do enjoy series like that. I'm not just all oh, shonen, shonen, shonen. You might see that on the channel, but that's because I, I can't think of the last time a good seinen. Well, I'm not gonna say that. I can't think of a seinen I read currently that I could cover on the channel. I think Tokyo Revengers right there might be considered a seinen. But I think I just did one video on it because, you know, I'm not going to review every manga on the channel. And I don't know if the spider thing is, is a seinen. I, I don't know what, what's the category. All right. So that's it for this one. And peace.